tell you this. Um, I uh, I was I was working for an organization called Democracy Now. It's a radio organization. Yeah. And when I was, we was on the air because we go on the air at nine o'clock. And so when that first plane hit, I didn't hear it. But the second plane, I heard a rumbling overhead because I was down on Lafayette Street, right below Canal Street. And the, the incident is over a little bit over on Wall Street. In fact, my radio you station were, was on Wall you Street. You were in New York? Yeah, no, I was in, I was in the area. I oh, saw my. that. In fact, the whole thing, and I, I heard everything like that. We had to stop our broadcast and start and start basically broadcasting what was happening. And then it was amazing because, that, see, I was, uh, we was at a thing called a, 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 a downtown community television. It's, it's a, and we was in the Garrett, you know, uh, doing a broadcast, a, a, a national radio broadcast. Right? You were doing a broadcast. It what was, it was the middle of broadcast, exactly. Wow. Because the broadcast started at 9 o'clock. The, mm -hmm. the second plane hit about 9.08 or something like that. Yeah. So I heard, see, there's a thing in New York. If they have these large metal grates, yeah. you see? And when and when when a truck a truck rumbles over it, you can hear it down there, and that's what it sounded like up top, you know, up, up in the air. I didn't pay no attention to it. Oh, were you underground? No, no, I, w I was. Think of a firehouse, right? And then you have a garret in a firehouse. Well, our broadcast was there. A garret, like that's a that's like an attic. Yeah, that's like where the fire pole comes down, zoop, oh, yeah. zoop, like, like that. Yeah. Okay. Your broadcast was there. Yeah, that's that's where that's where we were. Now. So, but my but my radio program, that's I engineered that program. It's a yeah. national news program called Democracy Now, right? But my radio program called No More Radio happened in the middle of the night on Sunday nights late, late. But that was over at 120 Wall Street, uh -huh. which is basically the World Trade Center is on, on basically the west side of, of Manhattan. It's a very small area. And we was on the, on, we was all the way on the, on the east side of Manhattan where my radio program was. So when that yeah. thing happened that same night, I had to go to the station for something, and so I saw it. It, looked, it really did look like a movie set. It was like they had the lights, but the, all this dust was there. It was like it was really just something like really out of science fiction. They didn't lie when they was talking about that, you know. And 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 and, and, and my my, uh, my lovely wife Brenda mm -hmm. and I were not were not married at the time. We went up to New York uh, for the uh, for Christmas break, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and so we, we were going up there to see the new year come in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so when we went to, when we went to the area, what they call Ground Zero at mm -hmm. the time, they call it Ground Zero. There was still dust in the air. There was exactly heavy, there was heavy dust in the air. Now this exactly. is months later. That's right. Now later. you can imagine. So every day the broadcast was every day. So I was down there every day. But I never went to that. I never went over there purposely because the dust so much. They was they was uh, watering down the streets like two, three times a day. They yeah. watering around. The street. They kept on saying, "Oh, everything's all right." Every, you know, the, the the governor of of, of New York of, of New Jersey said, "Oh, Chris is with me. Oh, everything's all right." Now, uh, but it wasn't all right, and everybody knew it wasn't all right. But I tell you what happened. I tell you one thing. When that happened, it was a, a most unbelievable, eerie thing because see, I grew up in New York, yeah. and yeah. to not yeah. hear any planes in the sky was amazing like it was a weird sound thing you know really? and, and but it was really everybody was helping each other i mean those pictures you saw was all correct you know so yeah. anyway so i was there the whole time and uh, i remember i was um uh, you see you know i've been a school teacher all my life a high school teacher on all my working life and uh i uh i was in the classroom at uh Roosevelt High School. You know where Roosevelt High School is? Why don't you? No, not well. You know, remember I went to Theodore Roosevelt High School in, in the Bronx. Okay. You're talking about Roosevelt High School in, in, in St. Louis. St. Louis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah but anyway, um, yeah, I was teaching there, and we were doing uh, what we call it's a little experiment called observations of a burning candle. When mm. the students are, they light the candle and then they see how many observations they can make about. Mm. All right, so so toward the end of that. It's a laboratory exercise. It sounds sounds like sounds like a meditative exercise to me. No, <laughs> it's no, a, it's a new age thing. <laughs> no, it was it was uh, you know in science we try to be objective. Mm -hmm. So the question is how many objective observations can you make? Not how you feel about the candle, not mm -hmm. what not what it makes you think about or hope about, mm -hmm. but how many objective observations can mm -hmm. you make about mm -hmm. the process of burning candles? So anyway, that's it's a good exercise. Mm -hmm teaches observation mm -hmm. and um, so they end up toward the end of the period one of my uh, one of my fellow teachers came in he came into the classroom mm -hmm. and he walked up to me and he said uh, he said uh, 
an airplane run into one of the Twin Towers. I just thought you might want to know. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, wow. And uh, that was, we didn't know what to think. But at the time, there was a big thought that that first, that it could be an accident. Mm -hmm. You know, that that first plane that hit, it could have run into it mm -hmm. accidentally. And of course then it wasn't, it wasn't much later that the, uh, the second plane hit the other tower. Yeah, that's the one I heard. Yeah. yeah, so that was, and that's when everyone knew that it was a, uh, it was attack. It was, it was, a, it was attack, a terrorist attack mounted by the uh, uh, Al-Qaeda, Islamic uh, terrorists. Yeah, Islamic terrorists. Yeah, I'll never forget that. And interesting, some of the interesting things that happened that day I heard that in the in the tower, they had a a message to the people that were there. Just 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 relax. Just stay in your seat. Everything will be fine. Maybe not exactly that, but in other words, they didn't tell them that they if they didn't get out, those towers might collapse. No, they just told them to do nothing, do nothing. But the people that had that were self starters, some of them got all the way from the top all the way down. To the uh, had got out, mm. so uh, it was a uh, it was it was a horrible attack, and uh, certainly took everyone by surprise. And they said, uh, you know, the president it was President George W. Bush who was president at the time. He was I think he was in Florida listening. He, he was in some kind of classroom with students or something. Someone one of his aides came up and told him. Uh, you know, one of the, uh, I don't know what they told him, but they made him aware of what was happening. Man, so it took, that's the first he heard of it, and then he he, he got out of that situation. I don't know, that's from what I saw, I, I saw the footage, he he sort of froze, he didn't get out, he was just sitting there for he, a while, you he know. Was, he, was he, there a shock he, on his face? He, 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 no, it wasn't a shock, he was trying to read to some kids. Anyway, I don't want to get to that. Since you're a man of science, let me ask you about it, because there's a whole lot of conspiracy theories about this thing. Yeah, you know, especially, you especially around, I know on this video, you, your face is not in the video, are you just looking at my face, is that how it works? Yeah. Right now, okay. I'm just, I'm just distancing, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, um, oh, that's fair. I could, I could boo -boo, but I can't. I, I'm comfortable. But my, 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 my question, my, my question is, you're a man of science because there's all these conspiracies. I'm not talking about the towers, but there's this, this uh, building number seven, and that fell down for no apparent reason. Did you hear about all that stuff? Mm. Not very much. Uh, what's, what's the idea that it was it was uh, knocked down separately or something? Yeah. Do you, you know, okay, you don't know anything about that. No, I know nothing about it. No. Well, anyway, that's part of my past. I want to. What's what's the reading for today? That's what I want to know. Oh. Let me get myself in here a little bit. I finally made it to uh, probably um, the uh, one of the best known prophets of Israel. That's Isaiah. So it's Isaiah 8, the Lord said to me, take a large scroll and write on it with an ordinary pen. Now this, I don't know exactly how these words are pronounced. Mehar Shalaleah Hash Bez. So this is, this is a continuing of ordinary uh, pen. Isaiah's, Isaiah's prophecy. Ordinary pen, I wonder what that means. I guess they do ordinary writing material, anything that you can, you can, yeah. you can grab, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, so that the prophet Isaiah is a wonderful one. He he did his. Sure. Morning, Ron. Happy Happy Patriots Day. I didn't look at my calendar. Yes, it is. Hey, happy Patriots. Day. Same to you, my friend. So, um, yeah, he was a he prophesied before the. Uh, before the fall of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. before the before the Babylonian captivity, you know when the um, when, when the Babylonians came in and took over Jerusalem and took out took mm -hmm. all the people out and took them into captivity, and they kept them in captivity seventy years and then they allowed them to come back, and he prophesies about all of this before it even happens. So it's uh, quite amazing.
So that's from the Old Testament now. Yeah, absolutely, the Old Testament. Yeah. Now, what, now, do they have the days? Now, what day is it? Do they tell you what the day? I know it's September 11th, but I mean, w w what day do you? I mean, it's 365 days. Yeah. So what, which one is, which day is this? Well, that's 200. They don't number it, but oh, okay. September 11th. Okay, I see that. Yeah, I got you. The last day of the year would be, uh, I guess, December. Yeah, December 31st. Okay. Yeah, December 31st. That's yeah. the last day of the year. I see. Okay, so what's the what's the New Testament thingy? Okay, Corinthians, two Second Corinthians. I must go on boasting. You know, Paul is interesting. He he, he starts boasting about how he's he's uh, he's endured more for Christ than than uh, almost anyone else. So. <laughs> but then we did the other time I was here. We said I mean, we, it, they it, talk, we talked about that boasting yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Whatever it wasn't that it wasn't supposed to be happening. Yeah, so right. obviously he's he was Christ's you know right hand you know wingman, but he he <laughs> never mind. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I think that the one of Christ's um, characteristics is is humility, but he, but uh, but. Uh, Paul, what Paul did boast about the things he'd endured. <laughs> oh, Paul! Oh, Paul! No, Paul wasn't with Christ. Paul was the guy that fell off the horse. He was Saul, and he fell off the donkey and became Paul, and he yeah. wrote all the stuff. Oh, okay, never mind. He was I, the I, one that, yeah, yeah. remember he uh, he was he was a persecutor of uh, Christ and what was called the way. He persecuted and killed people. Yeah, but he following. but he was okay. Now I'm trying he to. I'm was, trying. He was to, a Jewish zealot. I got that, but I'm saying I'm asking, was he? Was he around the same time Christ was around? You know what I mean? Did he come? Out? In other words, was Christ dead and buried by the time he came around? Christ was. Uh, Christ had been super. Uh, Christ had already been super uh, crucified and uh, risen. So, so Christ was not. No, he was no longer. This was after the crucifixion. Paul. Well, but how how long after? How I'm long? just trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out if Paul. Okay. Knew. I'd say it was about. Um, it's about in, within the next uh, within the next few years, I'd say. Oh, so it, it may be the same time frame, but 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 he knew he he knew. Okay, I'm trying to figure this. Hold on a second, because the Christians didn't really become the Christians to 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 a little while after uh, Christ was resurrected or whatever have you as, as a thing. But if he was running around, if he was running around. Persecuting Christians first, they had to become Christians. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? They had to, yeah. And that took a few years. It wouldn't. I'm just trying to find out how. How? You know, was was Paul ten years old when Christ died, or was he thirty years old when Christ died? Was he not born when Christ died? I, I'm just. When Christ was crucified, let's yeah, see. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, when he died on the cross. Let me think. Um, I mean, surely. I'd say this. This is happening about approximately. Uh, uh, forty or fifty A.D. I I got a book to tell so, if you want. You want me to. So 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 it's about. I'm just trying to figure it out. In the so, next so, few in the next few years. Yeah. Exactly. So if it's, it's if it's forty or fifty years after the you know after the ascension or whatever you, you know the 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 crucifixion. Um, Maybe less than that. Okay. Well, I'm just. Okay. Well. That's a good question. No, I'm just because when they say when you say he was persecuting Christians. How long was it be after Christ ascended that Christians become a Christian sect? I mean, because you had the apostles, I mean, this gospel song, they were in the upper room or whatever have you. They were certainly weren't Christians then. So when did they first become known as Christians to be persecuted, like a group okay. to be persecuted? And if if Paul was persecuting them, then, you know, they had, had to have been established for him to know, oh, those are Christians, let me go beat up on them. You know, yeah. especially yeah. if he's a, is a Jew, or was it like a little Christian sect, and he was a Jewish person that didn't want? I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get his time frame of. Uh, I mean, I don't know this stuff. I don't, I don't you know. Okay, wait, well, would you, would you allow me to get my uh, reference book? Or do I have to do I'm it not, my memory? I'm not that. I'm not. Look, I'm not that interested. I'm just. I was just trying to figure out if you knew straight off the top okay, of your head. Well, let's let's, let's do it away. Best answer I can is that. Um, this happened uh, in the years uh, in the years following Christ's uh, 
crucifixion and, and uh, resurrection and ascension. It, it happened in the following years. Okay, but this Paul, this... Saul was his name. He was a he was a Jewish zealot, and he was persecuting and killing people that were part of what they call the Way, which were followers of Christ. Okay, and and then on the on the road to Damascus, he was um, he was knocked down, and uh, by the, the light he had an encounter with Christ, and that changed his life, and then he became. Okay, spiritually just, kind of, okay. okay. just as zealous, but for for Christ. I got you. So that, that I tell you what, next week, you know, after the weekend, next week, that you could you could look up the thing, and we can have a more complete thing. Let's go on to the next. I want to hear the Psalms. You know, I'm, I'm well, going to the Psalms. I'm a little embarrassed. I can't give you a better answer. No, don't worry about it. You know, uh, you know, I'm a, hey. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm, a I'm trying to learn about this too. I'm a theater person. Remember last time we went we to the whole Samuel Beckett thing and I had to remember I couldn't even remember the guy's name. So you know things happen, you know? You know? Hey. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's see. But uh all right, next we have Psalms. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. So often uh, I think most of the Psalms were written by David and often he's uh He's imploring God to uh, listen to him and help him, and sometimes praising God for his, his goodness. So. This is an interesting word, imploring, right? Because there's this thing, especially in uh, in um, in black music, you know, there's this what you call your beggars and your pleaders, and there's a yeah. difference between a, being pleading and begging. So now imploring, that's the weird, 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 is that, does that mean he was begging or is he pleading? Wow, I don't know. You must explain to me what's the difference between begging and pleading. pleading okay. See, yeah, go ahead. You tell me. Pleading, pleading, you have some sort of, I'm going to say you have some sort of, I don't want to say, I guess they say swag. You have some sort of class or something like that. Begging, you just get on your knees. Please, baby, <laughs> take me back. <laughs> Please, you say, hey, look, we can work it out. <laughs> Come on, you know, you know, I, you know, I always love you. Love you. This is that, but begging is like, <laughs> this is all out. It's like we said, you know, you beg it. Yeah. You know? Well, I think, you know, they, they, um, when, we're, when we're charged with the, uh, when we're charged with the crime, they say, how do you, how do you want to plead? Please. Yeah, I see, you you're not supposed to, yeah, not supposed to beg you. Yeah. Guilty, yeah. So you can plead innocent, or you can plead and get guilty. Yeah, yeah it's a, you get, of course, it's a different. Uh, yeah, you're not desperate. You see, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not desperate. Okay, so what's what's the what's the thing now? We go went, went to Psalms. Now we're at the. Right, now the last one is a proverb for yeah. today. Do not waste yourself. No, oh, I'm sorry. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Okay, yeah. that's good, solid advice. Yeah, so. I got you. I got you. So those are, that's the readings for the day. And, mm -hmm. uh, but I just, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Okay, now we, now we have a topic for today that's close to my heart. Let me First, let me tell you this. Uh, you know, we're supposed to vote and everything like that. And, you know, when you vote, you're supposed to have a, a you know, something that you want from your politician, whatever your thing is. You know, you want, I don't know, clean, whatever you want, whatever, whatever. Now, I only have two issues, right? If I went to a politician, if I go to my congressman, I only have two issues. Mr. Congressman, Ms. Congressman, here's the thing. Two things. One is I want a train, my train service, Amtrak, to be specific. Okay. I mean, that need to be funded, you know, because yeah. I, you know, this, that's you my like, thing. You like Amtrak. But I like train travel. I like you, you know whatever, whatever rails. We, have, we don't have rail system around this country like we should. Let's put it that way. All I'm just saying, no, right. Amtrak, Amtrak's the only game in town, our only passenger game. All I'm saying is that however they do it, I want some more rails going all around so I can get from here to there without no hassles. That's for, for passengers. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of well, course. You know, I'm traveling. Freight rails. Oh uh, yeah. 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 We're not this. That's that's no. 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 You're talking about me. I'm, okay. This is what I want. Right. All right. All right. All right, that's something you want from your from your government. That's that's right. From my from my from my congressman, from my from my from my government. That's what I want from my government. From your government, okay. You know. And what else? Is that it? That, that's the second one. Mm -hmm. The first one, I want reparative justice. 
In other words, I want reparative justice for my lineage. My lineage way back helped build this, helped build this country, even built the White House. I mean, you know, in other words, when he came here and it was nothing but forests and Indians or whatever, whatever they call themselves, right? Yep. And you had to pull these trees out to make the thing, even the railroad, you had to be, whatever you had to do to, to, to do stuff, they had what we call slave labor. And you didn't pay nobody. Yeah. The, the, the big guys got the, got the money and then they got that wealth. They call it wealth. Yeah. They took that wealth and still, you know, uh, they took that wealth and got, got more wealthy. Meanwhile, the people who actually did the labor to work under the guise of slavery, you know, yeah. uh, they never got anything. And, and, and even, when, even when they were so-called freed, they made it, they built into the thing that, well, you, 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 you're free as long as you're not, you know, hanging out in this corner and we can call it a crime and put you in jail, which makes you not free again. Then after all that, then you have the whole Jim Crow. Oh, we won't get into Jim Crow. You know what Jim Crow is, right? Then you have not, not exactly. Remind me what 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 is. You don't Jim know what? Come on, you live in St. Louis and don't know what Jim Crow is. He, he, he is that is that uh, Southern Democrats that made unfair. Laws? No, no, no. You know what Jim Crow is. The Jim Crow ever when you can take when when when, Jim, when you treating somebody unfairly when you mistreating someone that's yeah. Jim Crow. Okay, I don't care where it's come from, where it came from, the north, south, whatever. And you in St. Louis, you can't tell me you don't know anything about I've Jim Crow. Heard, I've heard the expression, yes, sir. I have heard the expression. Okay, well, I, 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 that's another sign where you got to As you look up Paul's, whatever, uh, his lineage, you can look up Jim Crow. It's all out there. Well, I've then, heard of the, you know, I've heard of the, uh, well, of course, uh, the civil. In the first place, I'm sure you're aware that the, uh, United States is not the only, uh, let's say, nation that has practiced slavery in history. Well, I'm not talking about slavery right now. So we went from slavery to Jim Crow. I'm not finished yet. And okay. I, I'm, I'm not interested right. in those other nations. <laughs> well, okay. I live in South Africa. I'm not interested in, in this. Well, I am interested in their struggle. Okay. But I'm interested. I'm, we're talking reparative justice. My reparative justice has to do with the United States of North America. It has nothing to do with any other Saudi Arabia. They, they cut people's head off and whatever they're doing someplace else. You know, India, they got the whole okay. caste system. I'm not interested in that right now. Okay, I'm talking, reparative I'm, justice. For, I, I get the idea. Yeah, but I must I must tell you up front I'm not uh, I'm uh, I'm more I think I'm I'm more more friendly more in, in, inclined in a more friendly way toward your desire for a better rail system than uh, no that's the second issue no, no that's that's that's, that's second issue we, right. we that's a separate that's right. a, just leave that alone we, right. my first that, one is reparative justice right uh, now right. restorative now, justice we, we, this is, now this is a, no I didn't say restorative justice I didn't I'm say restorative justice I said reparative justice oh reparative justice that's different right and I'm not finished yet we we, okay. we just we just we went from slavery to antebellum Jim Crow right now we get to whole now we get to uh, I'm, I'm gonna skip over well, well Jim Crow covers a lot of things right but then we get to redlining now I know you know what redlining is yes I do you know, I know what redlining and you know what happened after World War II when all the soldiers came home yes I do I and, 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 and the government and the government said hey you know we, we gotta give the soldiers something but we're gonna do what we're going to do though is we're gonna give you administer through your states we're gonna give it to the banks and the banks you know you in charge of giving out the money to all the soldiers that came home and so what did they do they said, oh, well, the black soldiers, you ain't getting nothing, you know? Or, or you're going to make it difficult for you to get some white soldiers? Come on in, you know? Hey, in fact, we're going to make little towns and everything for whatever have you. And black people, we're going to put you over here and we're not going to give you anything. We're going to make you, you know, we'll put you at the bottom of the barrel as usual, okay? That's that's just redlining. I'm not, I'm not even getting to the point where before that, when you had when the, when you had when you had people coming over, talk about like the late 1800s, when you had people coming over for Germany and stuff like that, and they were giving them land grants and teach them how to farm and everything like that, and you left out again, you left out the citizens that used to be slaves, left them out, right? That's the repair we're talking about. Now we keep now we yeah. we can go to discrimination and the whole civil rights thing, but I want to get into that right now. So just with that thing, before we get to this other stuff, that's that's the repair that has to be done. In other words, when the government made laws against other citizens of their country. Now, admittedly, they started, the citizens started only be three-fifths of a person. That's true. But after that was all said and done and, and, and done away with. Yeah, that was a strange thing, wasn't it? Like, well, it was, it was a political thing. I understand all that stuff. You know, it's, it's, uh, you remember, this, the country started on, on this kind of stuff. 
But my problem is that oh, I wouldn't say it, it was it was involved in this. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. I, I I think we need to get some documents to see what they were saying. They 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 clearly wrote some stuff in there saying, "Hey, look, you know, the you, you people can't do this." Because I remember in the beginning, when especially in the very beginning, when 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 uh, the well, I call them the downtrodden, when the black downtrodden, the white downtrodden. This, remember, the race stuff didn't really start until the United States said race. In the Bible, you didn't have race. You had Ethiopes. You know what I mean? You had nations. You didn't have race. Well, you didn't have black and white. Slavery. Yeah, I know, but you, but 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 my poor point is, you didn't have slavery based on race. You had slavery based on, based on something else, based well, on nationality. Think, you know, I think it was uh, to, to an extent uh, there was. Uh, it seemed to be based on race. Because, no, because no, I'm saying not in the, the Bible. United States. Because, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, because, because uh, many of the slaves were imported from Africa. And Many they, of them, most of them, yeah. Go ahead. All right. And therefore, also they were, they were uh, visibly different. They were darker. Exactly. It was they easier. Were darker. That made them. Uh, that made them easily uh, identifiable. Yeah. So all that happened. That's, that's right. Happened. But my that's point is, but that, that that's right. But now, but the point is, out of that thing, out of that thing. Remember, remember, the, what's the saying? Cotton is king. The whole economy of the United States was based on the slave labor. And that wealth from no, the United States the came from The economy of the South was based on slave labor, no doubt about it. Hold That's on what a second. Led to this. You're talking about what led to the Civil War. No, no, I didn't even talk about what led to the Civil War. I'm talking, well, yeah, we could say that. What did, the, what did they do with the cotton that was picked in the South? They sold it for money. What did they do with the cotton? Where did they sell it for money at? Well, the, yes. I didn't know that they hmm. named a special day after the New England football team. Uh, he's making a joke. That's that's, yeah. that's your humor, isn't it, Ron? Well, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad hmm. your funny bone's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cotton was made. What you use cotton for? For fabric, just like you used to use hemp for fabric, right? Yeah, it was made for. And they sold mm -hmm. it. You know. They, they sold it up north, and they sold it in Europe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. So they sold it up north. Yes. That means that north got benefited from that cotton that was picked. Oh, yeah. And then they made it, maybe made it into cloth or whether weaving into whatever have you, right? So, so in other you words... You heard the expression, you heard the expression, cotton is king. That's right. That's what's, yeah. You, you, we're talking about the same thing. That's yeah. right. So what I'm trying to say, the north... Got the cotton from the South. Yes. The North, you can consider them the next level, just like in a store, or whatever have you. You know what happens? That the cotton. If they didn't get the cotton, they couldn't make the textiles or whatever they was making for the economy to run. No true. They needed cotton, sure. They need, of course, they needed all kinds of raw materials. They, Let's just stick with the cotton. Okay. They needed cotton. Right. They got it from the South. That's right. I'm not arguing. So their economy was based on the cotton they can get from the South so they can make this cloth so they can sell this cloth or whatever someplace else. No true? Here's the thing. Now I'm going to disagree with you slightly. The Southern economy was essentially based on cotton. That's why they said cotton is king. They, they grew the cotton. They used the plantation system. They used slavery. They grew huge amounts of cotton. They sold it, not only in the north, but all over the world. Now, now let's talk about the north. Yes, they they needed the cotton, but they they didn't they they didn't need it. They had a they had an industry that was based on many things, on farming, on industry. They had uh, you know. Um, guess what? They, not only did they do cotton in the south, but they did farming. You know, yeah, they did yeah. out west too. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying, the southern economy was a was was totally based on and, and married to cotton that's what made that's what made the I got rich, you. The, the rich southerners rich um, we're not arguing that's we're not okay, but disputing that is, point i'm saying is in the north the economy was very much more dependent adverse. upon it wasn't dependent upon cotton no i mean cotton was one of many things they bought. no no Yes, yes, there's one of many things. But remember, they also, hold, how do you think you got what we call insurance? What were they insuring? They were insuring slavery. So the insurance company was going to that. Who, who, who the, the, the building trade, all this stuff was coming from slave labor. Well, I'd say in the North, I would, I would beg to differ with you. In the, the North 
they had a, a system where they didn't need slavery. They didn't but need they, slavery. But they did need slavery. No. No, I, I if, the, if, if how could they not? If if what are you going to? You, a slave, one slave was worth more than the house. Yeah, to in the South, yeah. But but who do you think was insuring those slaves? I don't know what insurance is. It's insurance is a later invention. Was it? They they had insurance back then. Believe me, they 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 had you insured. You yeah. you you. I thought you. I, 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 I thought that's right. Exactly. I thought you went to Harvard. I did. I don't know. I don't know. What classes did you take? Uh, do, you, do, you, do, 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 do you know that do you know, economics is even worse? Do you know that, uh, that, that, that Harvard and Yale and all them was built, or, again, on, on, on slave labor and, 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 and slave uh, insurance or whatever have you? The shipping country, c companies and all the rest of that stuff has come from slavery? All this stuff. No, I don't you don't so. know this stuff? No, I don't think you don't so. think so? I don't think so. Oh, that means I, that means I got to go get some documents and some books. Oh man, I thought you knew this stuff. Oh my goodness. So anyway, the, the, what I'm trying to say is, some black people need to be repaired, repaired of justice, right? No, no, wait a minute. Now, now this is this is where we're coming to a a stumbling block, either in either in my understanding or mm -hmm. in uh, my willingness to agree with you. Mm -hmm. Who's going to repair whom for what? The government is going to repair the 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 people who are, who have lineage. In, uh, in in North America, the government is going to appear because of the government that put the laws in place that made it so that these people were damaged in the first place. Okay. You're so it's a, the government. You're saying, uh, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say my daddy hurt your daddy. Let's bring it down to that. Let's say my daddy hurt your daddy. Let's Does be more specific. Let's say your daddy made a law so that my daddy could not build a house in this in next door to him. Okay. Okay. Well, the first thing uh, about uh, the first thing that needs to be done is that law needs to be changed, and that's pretty much been done. Oh uh, well, I don't know about all that, but 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 don't go. I like your daddy thing. Yes, yeah, so you, 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 me, me, your daddy, and my daddy were on equal footing, and let's somehow. Say, let's say no. Let's say let's say my daddy. Hurt your dad, and now here we are. Does this mean? Does this mean I have to do something for you because my daddy hurt your daddy? I have no idea. I don't know what the law would be. I mean, I don't know. Yes, I'm not talking about the law. I'm, not talking about the law. I'm talking about. Well, let me. Am I, am I responsible? I, I don't know, but the hurt is a bad word. It's a four-letter word. Let's do it this way. Oh, okay. My daddy own, owned this house over here. Your daddy owned this house over here. Your daddy got jealous of my daddy owned that house, so your daddy burns down my house. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we start from. Now, yeah. doesn't yeah. doesn't your daddy now have an obligation to have my house rebuilt or something like that and not preyed upon again? Uh, that no, we had to repair my house that you burnt down. I don't know. How you don't but, know? Uh, okay, hold on a second. I see what I see where your argument's coming from. Well, it'd be argument as a philosophical argument, but my point is, is it's very it's just, repair. You, that's that's, that's, that's that's the only word I can come up with. You you undid something. Now you got to repair something. Well, and, and it's just for you to repair it. You you wouldn't. In other words, you don't want me to burn down your house. So why would you burn down my house? And if you burn down my house, then you have to repair the burning the burning of my house that you did. No. Yeah, but that's totally different. That's something that's happening in the here and now. That's no, I'm talking about back here. when. Back when, yeah. No, is it happened now? It happened before. It's going to happen in the future. If it happens in the future, you still got to repair see, it. No. See, if I think I should I should repair. Something that my daddy may have done back when. No, I'm saying. The, the, no, I'm saying if your if your daddy did it way back when, right? Yeah. And he profited off it, and he took that profit and parlayed it into something more and more and more and more. Meanwhile, yeah. the person that you did the damage to had to send less and less and less because you 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 denied them that that cornfield. Yeah. Well, you know, um, history is a. History is a story of um, battle and conquest. 
I mean, that that didn't start here in the United States. I'm it's sorry. Still. I'm not talking about it. I don't care where, where it started at. I, yeah, this it started where you can go to the Bible of Cain and Abel, whatever that stuff is. I'm not talking about I'm talking about the damage that the United States government did to a selected group of people and continue to do to a selected group of people. They kept on not allowing those people to prosper, not allowing those people to be repaired. Okay, now you're saying... When you say selected group of people, you're talking about uh, African Americans, right? I'm talking about people. I'm talking about American descendants of chattel slavery. That's who I'm talking about okay. specifically. American descendants of chattel, chattel slavery. slavery. Yes. Okay. Now I see. That's interesting. That descendants, lineage that went from chattel slavery yeah. to antebellum to the prison works to the to the whole the chain gang to the Jim Crow laws that the the, the the whole hanging. You know, somebody's walking down the street. They have they have a business and some 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 white person don't like that business they go and they and they and they take that business person and they hang them from a tree and then take their business away no i'm talking about this cases where somebody you know, you know, the person's donkey is in their yard and they'll say i want that donkey and take that donkey you know, and then so that donkey can now plow that land and not paying for the donkey expect sold the donkey and, and kill the person i'm talking about that that's what i'm talking about those that group of people i'm not talking about no other people i don't care where they're from i don't care what place on the planet they are i don't care if they from from you know india china you know uh, australia it doesn't matter i'm talking about a lineage american north american let me be more specific i'm not talking about brazil i'm not talking about the islands okay, north okay. american uh, north american descendants of chattel slavery now, listen, that's what i'm hey, talking that's, about that's, uh, that's that's pretty specific I yeah i saying. know it's got to be specific I, I, I because a lot of saying. people you know what happened you know what they do here you know then all of a sudden somebody comes from someplace you know nigeria or, or you know whatever they say i'm black <laughs> they say oh really yeah you yeah, you are so what does that mean are you a Amer are you a, a, a are you a, a north american descendant of chattel slavery no you know I'm I'm from Jamaica, you know. I'm from Trinidad. Yeah, but did you did Trinidad and Jamaica have Jim Crow laws? You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they didn't. Okay, you know? I see what you're saying. I think I see. It's a specific group of people about, that's been preyed upon. What you're seeing about the Jim Crow laws is, once slavery was ended, there were laws in the South which tended to perpetuate the unfair treatment. Is that what you're not only done. So you keep on trying to say the South. Don't put it's all over the country. There's laws. There were covenants up in 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 in, in, in you know the, the um what was it is it Connecticut? I think it was Connecticut had one of the, the the largest clan things in Connecticut. You had all the way up there in in Massachusetts, of course. You know you have people up here in Illinois. Come yeah. on now. This is the, you were talking Jim Crow is spread all over. You had, you had American Indians that owned slaves. So, you know, ah, tribes that owned slaves, you know? Yeah. And Jim Crow, all that stuff. Right now, okay, here's the thing about Portland, Oregon. You know all the stuff that happened in Oregon right now, Portland, whatever have you? Yes. Well, you know, Oregon was like what we call a white state. A white, I don't want to say supremacist state, but there wasn't no, how come no black, how come no black people went to Oregon? How come, because, and you know about sundown towns. I know you know about sundown towns. Sundown towns, tell me. What is that? Are you in St. Louis now? Did you grow up in St. Louis or not? Oh, yeah. I grew up here. Yeah. And you, what, what were you doing? Were you, you were just feeding the squirrels? What were y'all doing here? I mean, you wasn't paying any attention to what's happening. Well, a sundown town is where a black person cannot be caught in the town after sundown. That's a sundown town. Okay, you never, never heard of I that? I've never heard that before. But that, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with you. How come I'm I know this? I never, oh, that's me. I, of course I know this. I know it's because I read. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is... I, I read... To some extent, I read also, but I haven't read heard that specific expression. But I'm not. I'm not sundown town. With you. Sundown town. Yeah, but, but there's so, this. I've there's, heard of you know. I've heard about. Oh, I've you, heard about you know extreme uh, mistreatment of black people and lynchings and uh, discrimination and all that. I hadn't heard that particular expression. Uh, you had to town. be out of town before the sun was down. That's a sundown town, and that was all over the United States. Oregon had it. Had it. They, 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 it's, it's, it's there. Anyway, I, I, I think we, I think we, I think, now I'm not going to bring you no text. You got to find this out for yourself. Uh, you got to find this out for yourself. You know, remember you got the Paul Saul thing. Well, see, I got a particular American history textbook. I'll show it to you. And, and you see. American history. And who wrote that textbook? Uh, it was a, um, it was a man out in, uh, 
California. Really? A Berkeley professor. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I would love to see this book. Well, I'll bring it to you. Now, uh, next time, next week, we'll have the book out here. Oh, uh, I, want, I can go get it right now. Uh, I got to go eat, man. I got to eat anyway, my breakfast. Whatever. No, anyway, no. Let me ask you. I this. don't believe in textbooks either. I don't believe, no, especially in no American history books or whatever it is. I mean, there's a whole scandal that just happened. They, they, people are putting their names on textbooks, and then you, one person is, is writing all these textbooks and just getting somebody to co sign for them. And they're putting their textbooks in the school system. I'm sorry. Is, is, this, the, is this book, the, the People's History of the United States by, by Howard Zinn? No. Well, then I'm like, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> who edited this book? My my point is, you know, most textbooks came from from Texas. You want somebody from Texas editing your your textbook? Uh, well, I don't know if this came from Texas. I'm I'd be glad to show it to you. But this is yeah. Yeah, this week. is this book was written before they started to change the textbooks. Well, that's what I'm saying. This let's this look. Let I would I I would love. Let's 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 put this off until like Tuesday or something like that. Okay, but now let me ask you this. Hmm. Let me ask you this. You know, we're talking about we're talking about reparative justice. Is that right? Yeah. Repar well, what about the uh, what about the uh, the Native Americans, which we call Indians? How about that? Well, for they, how about them? Do they just do they deserve a reparative justice? I guess so. Let let let, let them let, let them petition United States. They have already, don't they have? Don't they have? Haven't they got some repair? Whatever have you? Well, they're, the, they're yeah. pretty much now they're on. Well, uh, that's them. They're on reservation. Well, that's them. And some of them got. I don't. I'm not talking about them. I told you the group I'm talking about. Yeah. Do you know? You know there was some sort of what are they calling this thing? Reparations. Yeah. You know who got reparations right after slavery? Who? You want to guess? No, I don't, don't guess. I'll tell, right, tell you. The slave owners, they were compensated for the slaves that were freed. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, come on. You, okay, you're a chemistry teacher. I'll go with that. But, no, I didn't you know, know but yes, this is not, not everybody. Well, maybe not everybody knows this, but a whole bunch of people know that. You know, well, but don't, don't bring this, this. Like I said, it's not about the Native Americans. I'm talking about a specific group of people that's, that has to be repaired. Their lineage has to be repaired because they keep on being set upon. And as long and longer we wait, the more we're being set upon. People come in and then take take the wealth that we're supposed to be getting. Oh, no, I, I didn't even get to the 60s and this whole affirmative action thing. We didn't even get to that part yet. I purposely left that out. But anyway. Oh, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, oh, here's a whole different thing. Okay, well, listen. Now, let's, let me see now. Let me, this is this is interesting because um, I uh, yeah this is this is interesting. So you feel like you feel like let, let me ask you this: Do you feel that because of these um, circumstances that happened to your let's say to your lineage lineage yeah you feel that you are you are a a victim in uh, in. 2020. Uh, I don't know what. No, no I, I feel that my lineage needs to be compensated for the for the building and the and the wealth that this country has accumulated through the lineage that that, that I come from. That's what I feel. But on the, so you think you should be you and others like my lineage? I feel. It's not, not, no, 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 no. Hold, it's not compensation. I'm not talking about compensation. A debt is owed. A yeah. debt is due. There should be a scheduling of a debt that was due that wasn't paid back. In other words, instead of giving, instead of paying the debt when slavery was over, they paying the, 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 the debt to the slaves. They paid it to the slave masters. That's what I'm talking about. Well, now that does seem strange. So now, now, now so now, what's so, so then that keeps on accumulating. It's like a debt, let debt do. If you don't pay a debt right away, doesn't doesn't don't they add interest, whatever they add on to it? Yes. So the, let's think about four hundred years, whatever well, many years, or two hundred, whatever years that is due, and then then, then it, 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 it insult to injury, as my grand, as my sainted grandmother would say. You know, not only that, then you put them in jail and make money off of them being in jail, unjustly put them in jail. Come on. And then you don't allow them to have their own homes because you, you give the money to some bank bankers who, whoa, then you don't, this is, this, this is unjust things that have to be repaired. This has to be repaired to that specific group of people. I'm not talking about anybody. I don't care about, no, I shouldn't say it this way. I'm being passionate now. But basically, 
Huh? Let the Indians do what the Indians got to do. Let the let let, let the whoever you know whoever the, the the Norwegians that came over here let them do it. But in fact, when nobody invited nobody, well, I guess people did invite people over. But when when somebody came from Germany, whatever ever came over here, they, and 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 they took advantage of the 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 the, the ground route that that this group, this American descendants of chattel slavery, uh, put. That means that well, you bought into. That situation, which means they, hey, you should have paid. But you said they come in and tell me, about, well, uh, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that, that, that. That I'm sorry. It's a debt due. We're talking about paying a debt. We're not talking about um, compensation. We're not talking about affirmative action. We're talking about paying a debt that's due. This country would not be with this country without American descendants of chattel slavery. I'm not even going to get into the cultural part. You know, in fact, if you didn't have, okay, if you how didn't, many, how many, how many American descendants of chattel slavery do you suppose there are in the United States? I don't know. I guess we have to do some sort of commission and, and look that up. It's like we got to look at the commission and see, we'll see what's owed or whatever have you. I don't know. Okay. okay well, that's like I don't know how much money should be paid. Well, I. Uh, that's for big, bigger brains than me to figure <laughs> out. I, I, uh, I'm not sure I agree with you. I'm not sure I agree with you. But I see, I see some of the, uh, I see some of the lines of your thinking. Now. I see some of the lines of your thinking. Well, I'm maybe not, I'm starting to understand better. Yeah, that, that's what I didn't need. I don't need you to do anything. If you don't want to understand, look. Let me put it this way. It's just simple. You, you, what are you not agreeing with? Are you not agreeing that there's a debt due, or you're not agreeing that it was a debt owed? Are you not? What do, what do you? I just want to get to the debt. There's a debt due. I'm not, I don't think I'm agreeing with that. But there's a debt due. I don't think I'm agreeing with that. So, in other words, in other words, somebody somebody worked this land, made it so that you you could do whatever you got to do, and you don't owe them nothing. So, 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 so somebody comes and and, and 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 you say, I need that tree taken out, and say, okay, Mr. Small, we're going to take that tree out, but it's going to cost you so and so. They take the tree out, and you say, well, I don't want to pay you for pay, taking that tree out. But they say, no, you owe me for taking that tree out. Then you say, but no, I don't owe you for taking that tree. Well, why don't you owe me for you? You needed that tree. To, if you you couldn't have, if, if I didn't take that tree out, the tree would have fell on your house and your house would have been dead. So don't you think you owe me? Not even for the, but then you say, well, no, I don't owe you. How is that possible? How is that possible? If I if I contracted with him to take it out, then obviously I owe uh, Exactly. If I come and take it out and I have nothing Exactly. To do Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you, so you, so the the country contracted with black people, uh, or more specifically, North American descendants of chattel slavery. Certain contracts they kept on breaking, or they kept on putting it to the bottom. They put other people on top of that contract. Other people benefit from from from, from they're not paying them that debt. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you what. Let me, I, like I said, I'm hungry. I gotta do my breakfast, you know? Oh, you want me to see if I have something to offer you in the way of food? No, 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 I gotta I got make my own breakfast. I love, I love cooking my own breakfast. Not only that, you see, you see. My wife doesn't have any more of those. No, 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 no. I, I, I make my own breakfast. Uh, I, uh, uh, people people, people be waiting for me. I think, you know, if there are, yeah, if, if there are contracts or things, covenants, yeah, this is, uh, I, I see, uh, I see what you're saying, but uh, how, how about the whole thing of do unto others? How do you have them do unto you? That thing we don't even get we don't we don't get into that part. I, I'm I'm big on that because this is the uh, this now you're getting down to the essence of Christianity. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah. So if you if you if 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 if, if you if, if if you don't want if you don't if you don't want somebody to burn down your house, then why would you burn down somebody's house? If you don't want somebody, if you how, why would you get jealous? Talk about the jealousy and envy. You know what I mean? Somebody has a hardware store. You have a hardware store across the street. Your hardware store is doing good. That person don't like you. They trumped up some charges. They say that you wish it at a white girl. They get all their, their buddies and then burn down your thing because they say you wish let a white girl. Come on, I don't want to hear it. Look, you see, that, you see, that, that you see, is, see, that is terrible. That is terrible. That's what happened. A, a lot. You see, now I got my turmeric. I just realized so I love turmeric. So this this yellow right here is from from. from yeah, water your tree. It says water Why? your. Yeah. Because your wife demands you water the tree. Oh, I remember that. There I've you been go. Remembering that. Yeah. Oh, okay. so she doesn't. Rem she doesn't demand. She. She asked me uh, in, in a very kind way. Yeah. Well, I'll let, I'll let you go, you know. Let me let you go with this.